Okay, I think the biggest problem that I have when making these videos is that I never seem to actually show anything done. I get in a rush to um, put it on YouTube to show you guys what's going on. And uh, I ended up doing that over and over. So I have a bunch of things I need to recap of things that I've finished. Uh, as you can see, it's still not done. Um, but I'm getting there. It actually looks like a Jeep now. Uh, it was torn apart pretty bad for a while. Um, getting things painted and everything. Uh, I ended up taking the fenders out and put it, building these out of just angle iron that I had laying around. It's actually attached to the hood. So when the hood goes up, I have total access to underneath. Um, I'll show that here in a second. Um, I just put, I, one of the last videos I did, I redid the brakes. So the brake booster. Hard to do that while holding the camera. Uh, had it with some really, really flimsy pieces of metal just to hold it in place. Uh, I redid that with all angle iron. Uh, it could be painted up and made it look nice. It's uh, pretty good the way it is right now. It's heat treated and all that. Um, geez, what else have I done? Okay, then on the doors here. I've actually almost finished this door. I have a little bit of welding to do, but it uh, it's on the hinges. The top slides like so, and then the bottom. Uh, here's the kicker. I had to figure out a way to make it so I didn't have a handle on the outside, because what's the point? I have two handles. So the best thing I can think of is to use a seat belt. You can kind of see it there. So basically that, and then the seat belt piece of metal that I've made and welded and you know basically fabricated the whole thing. This is not actually the part of the seat belt. It wasn't long enough to do it, so I had to make my own. But as you can see, it closes pretty nice. And they've got about 5,000 pounds of pressure that can be applied on the seat belt before it fails, so uh, that's pretty pretty hefty. I don't think there's going to be 5,000 pounds of pressure on that door um, going that direction anyway. If the car hits me, it's, you know how that is. All right, so um, also somebody asked about where I put the battery. Um, I just placed it behind the seat there. Um, that way I can disconnect it, whatever. Uh, also in one of my videos, I failed to show the finished rear bumper. I was kind of in a hurry to place that one on. Uh, people were wondering what I was doing. Actually buddies buddies of mine was one, were wondering. But uh, basically it's, you know, the, like I said before, it's the front bumper original. And uh, put in this diamond plate piece, welded it all in. Uh, this thing is very secure to the frame. Um, I'm planning on putting a tow hitch on the back down there. so be able to tow. I got the lights put in. Um, what the color that you see here, this is not primer or anything like that. It's actually a uh, Pore 15 rust remover. Uh, I ended up sanding down all the paint off of it and doing the roof and the back end here. Uh, there was very, very very pitted areas around where the door had, door slid and so, and there's actually a couple holes that I'd like to, I'd like to patch. Um, but I know it's rusted inside, but I can't do anything about that unless I cut it completely out. This side doesn't have any problems, but, um, so next I'm going to be working on, I'm actually working on it right now, is getting this door, uh, welded. Um, I'm doing that one differently. I'm actually making it a lot beefier than the driver's side because I know passengers will be using it and they'll be dumb and they'll hang on it and do all kinds of crap like that. Uh, so I've uh, taken it and I've welded uh, extra pieces, angle irons, and uh, the top here instead of being one 
piece of metal that I've made to fit. This is actually a box uh, that, that slid in there and is welded in. Um, the same thing will happen with this side. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, also, as you can see, I should have shown it on the other door, but it comes down farther for where it's going to slide in together and it's actually going to have a piece of metal of some sort, probably a, a bolt or something that goes into the bottom part of the door so it'll lock the two together. Uh, that's why I haven't finished welding this one up yet because I plan on fabricating that. See, it gives me a, a couple inches of uh, ability to work. Um, so that'll be next. Uh, not pretty cut and dry. I don't even really have to show that. Uh, then after that, I'm working on getting these shocks placed in there. I have to. I found out a way to do the shock mount on the bottom. I just found, I found a plate that was from uh, actually from the original axle that already had it built right in. Just a bolt basically that comes off the side. So it fits right in there perfectly. I just have to figure out a way to make some sort of tower right here that doesn't look completely retarded. But I'm also putting in wheel wells from the original Jeep, from the original, uh, what's right there, original fender. I plan on cutting this part out. So basically just the wheel well in there instead of the fenders all attached. Um, and then also, it's been a pain, bane of my existence is putting in a sway bar. Um, this one right here, if you can see it, uh, is probably the best one that I've got so far. It, it looks kind of funky, but and it's really thin. It's not the thickest material that I've ever seen for this type of purpose. Um, I have a bunch of these laying around. I've been collecting them over the years for this purpose. Yeah, I've got one out of a Bronco, that one's out of a Jeep Cherokee, um, that one's also out of the same Jeep Cherokee, uh, Broncos, pff, whatever, donated from Brian. Um, also, I might use this tubing for uh, doing the shock mounts. I haven't decided all that yet. And that's not really important to get it to go on the street, it's just for comforts and stuff. So. Um, Pretty much after I get the doors on and get them sealed up, I found this, this, this these seals from another vehicle. I think this came from a Cherokee. Uh, they fit in there perfectly. It's actually too long. It hangs down the bottom a little bit, so there's room to, to, to spare, so you can do whatever you want. And also, I did put in wider um, wheels. I bought some wheels from a junkyard. Those are actually off of an Explorer, I a Ford Explorer stock uh, wheel so um, it's got an offset that works a lot better for my purpose I wanted this thing to be a lot wider um, let me put this back down let me show a good maybe video of what it looks like from this angle and uh, but once I get the seals in and the doors on plan on putting this thing outside and w whenever I want to work on it I'll just drive it into the into the shop see I it takes up most of the space so uh, and well, this place needs to be cleaned up but that's another story um, geez I should have made a list of things I was going to talk about I think that's everything but yeah the battery's right there show a better view of it from the other side I built a really 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 beefy battery tray for it with some angle iron um, it's solid on the bottom with you know that thickness of angle iron all the way across the bottom uh, so if it ever leaks which it won't leak because it's the Optima battery but I didn't plan on having that at first so that was an afterthought uh, that battery tray can pretty much hold any battery that you can find so um, it disconnects at both areas uh, rambling, rambling, rambling. I want to make sure I get everything. 
that I've done in the last year. I have so much more to do, but not that much to do to actually get it up on the road. And so, well, I put mirrors on. Yeah, these are just Jeep style mirrors that I got from the, the local auto parts store. And these angles here, angle pieces, they're actually from a garage door opener. And, uh, yeah. So you, you could find those if you have a garage door you want to take apart. <laughs> uh, I don't see any here of the same. But, yeah, I have a buddy that does garage doors, so uh, lots of props to him to donating parts. Um, he's don donated a lot to me to help me out. Um, actually, I've had many friends that have helped me out with this, so um, props out to everybody. Alright, I guess this is it. I'll probably end up cutting this out. But.